all right hello everyone and welcome so in this video series we are going to learn how to find the length of a curve using integration so we are going to learn how to find the arc length through integration so in this video what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to derive a formula for it the derivation is easy pretty easy to follow so um i'll show you how to get that so it's kind of like a proof and then after that i'll show you how to use the formula through one example in this video so that's the idea for this video so starting from the second video i'll start to solve a bunch of example problems okay right here's the idea now let's say you have so you have a curve so these two curves are the same okay uh, pardon me for my drawing i'm not the best artist so you might see a slight difference between two curves but i want to say to you these are the two same curves okay now i want to find the length of this curve from here to here now this is not an easy problem um now to use integration we have to think back to the idea that we had with finding area remember when we wanted to find the area under a, a curve what we did is we divided the region by rectangles right we represent the region by rectangles now why rectangles because we know how to find the area of rectangles pretty easy so we represented the region through a bunch of rectangles and we calculated the area of each of these rectangle and we added them up right and then we got the total area right so we use something we know to represent something that's hard to find we're going to use the same idea here here's the thing we know how to find the length of a line rather than a curve okay so if you have a line if you want to find the length what you need to do is you need to use the pythagorean theorem like if these are two points that's joining the line okay you need to find the horizontal distance between the two points and the vertical distance between the two points if the horizontal distance is a if the vertical distance is b then the length of the line is a square plus b square square root right that's from the pythagorean theorem right so you just need to find the horizontal distance between the two points vertical distance between the two points use the pythagorean theorem square them and and then take the square root right so how are we going to relate a curve to a line now well just like we did in the area problem in the area problem we represent the region by rectangle so here we represent the curve by lines so that means i'm gonna draw a bunch of lines okay that will follow or tangent or you know follow the curve the shape of the curve right so i'm gonna represent the curve by some lines right now what i need to do is so in each line i am gonna find the length of each line just like we find we found the area of each rectangle in an area problem right so let's me let me pick one line okay a random line so let's call it the ith line that means it's like i'm referring to the fourth line or fifth line or seventh line so it's just the index i okay so let's say we have n number of lines so i use n lines to represent the curve okay so um now i want to find the length of this ith line what do we use we use the pythagorean theorem i need to find right the horizontal distance between these two points joining the line and the vertical points vertical vertical height right so the distance between these two points the horizontal distance i'm going to call it delta x that means just like in an area problem with rectangles in the way we constructed the rectangles is that we chose the width for each rectangle to be same delta x so here we will construct the lines in a way that the horizontal distance between each of these lines is delta x okay right and then the height is change in y right that's the vertical distance change in the y values of these two points i'm going to call it delta y i now y i the reason is that the horizontal distance between two points in different lines are different 
okay so the y had the height changes but the horizontal distance between each line if two points in each line they are the same okay right so that's why i call it delta y i so they, that's the height of i line okay right now we just need to use the Pythagorean theorem so it's delta x square horizontal distance squared plus delta y i square square root that's the length of the i line right now what i need to do is i need to find the length of each of these line and add them up right so that i can write it as i goes from one to n you add square root delta x square plus delta y i square now this is saying i am gonna add the length lengths of lines one to n okay so you have n number of lines so i'm going to add the length of each of these line and the length of each of these line is given by this formula that we derived through pythagorean theorem that's what this is saying now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some simplification okay so inside this square root i'm going to take delta x square out factor it so factoring delta x square is same as dividing by right so if i divide delta x square by itself we are going to get one and if i divide delta y i square by delta x square i'm gonna get delta y i square over delta x square this is what i get if i factor delta x square out inside the square root. now since we have a product of two things i can take delta x square out of the square root so when it goes through the square root the square of the square root you get delta x and inside the square root now we are just left with 1 plus delta y i now i'm going to put the square over the entire thing because the numerator is square denominator is square so why not why don't we have the square over the entire thing right so i just simplified it okay this still gives you the total length of the curve through lines that's the summation of the length of each curve uh, that we use to represent each line that we use to represent the curve right now if you want to get an accurate re representation if you want to get more accurate arc length what we need to do is we need to use more and more lines if you use more and more lines large number of lines to represent the curve we are going to get a better result a better approximation so if you increase the number of lines then the horizontal distance between them is going to get smaller the lines going to get smaller right if you increase the number of lines so then that means we can write that as mathematically delta x goes to zero that means okay the horizontal distance becoming smaller and smaller that means you, you are using larger and larger number of lines okay same thing so we take the limit when delta x goes to zero now this i can write this as an integral so let's say you're finding the arc length from x point a to b between x values a to b so this is equal to integrating from a to b square root one plus now when delta x goes to zero delta y i over delta x this represent the derivative of y with respect to x okay so derivative of y with respect to x square and delta x dx so this will give you the arc length okay arc length the length of the curve so if you want to find the arc length the formula is going to be integrate from a to b square root one plus derivative of y with respect to x square dx that's the formula okay right so that's the derivation of formula derivation of the formula okay i want you to get the idea of that we use lines to approximate the length of a curve now how do we use this formula so let's let let me write a question so let's say you have the curve will this is a line actually y is equal to 3 minus 3x you want to find the length from 0 to 1 so then you just use the formula so um 
a and b they are now 0 to 1 0 and 1 right you're finding the length of the curve from 0 to 1 square root now you need to find the derivative so derivative of y with respect to x is if you differentiate 3 minus 3x you get negative 3 so it's 1 plus negative 3 square dx so now this is square root 1 plus negative 3 square is 9 so 1 plus 9 is 10 so integrate square root 10 now to do that i can take square root 10 out because it's a constant so you are just integrating 1 right so if you do that you're going to get x so the answer is square root 10x and you're evaluating from 1 to 0 so let's plug 1 so square root 10 times 1 is 1 uh, take square root 10 times 1 is square root 10 excuse me minus square root 10 times 0 is 0 so the length is square root 10 okay so that's how you use the formula so find the derivative square it put it here and then integrate okay so uh, yeah we are gonna do more examples starting from the next video